Hello everybody, I'm Jack Ivey once again live in the studios of WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Going to welcome you back to our political forum and just say how much we appreciate you for joining us on the forum. You folks that are watching on TV 97, you're watching on Facebook, YouTube. We've had uh, close to 30,000 people that have actually gone on and just watched it on YouTube alone that showed up on our accounts. And it's an honor to have you out there watching it. we got a very special guest with us today. I know he's excited because he's in the runoff. He wants to be your next Justice Court judge on the North End. I know you can see the name behind me, Mr. J.R. Blakeney. J.R., how you doing? Good, good. Thank you, Mr. Ivey. Appreciate you having me here. And we're glad to have you here. And uh, I know from uh, August 4th election night, uh, you got an outstanding uh, vote count from the folks in the North half. And I know we wouldn't uh, be right unless we thank them out, out front right here. Right. And I do greatly appreciate all the vote and all the support I got. Uh, a little further back, I want to just thank everybody for being so nice to us this summer, opening the door, letting me come in, cool off, all the cool drinks they give me. It just makes you love the people of Tishomingo County when you get out and do a campaign like this and get to meet them one-on-one. -on -one. Folks, uh, you can't beat them, the folks in Tishomingo County. And of course, JR, uh, this Justice Court, uh, you've been in this position before, and uh, of course, you know now uh, you'll actually be working both ends of the county because y'all kind of rotate. So. Uh, you get to know at this position everybody in the county just about one way or another, right? Yes, sir, we do. And it was that way when I served oh, as was? judge before. Uh, a lot of people don't understand it because you're elected on half of the county, but you carry the whole county. It's done on a rotating basis. Every other case goes to the other judge. If you get four people at Big Star and Belmont, two of them go to the north judge, two go to the south judge. Sounds good. They're on a rotating basis. We're glad to have you here. And, of course, uh, this August 25th, the date is coming up very quick. And, of course, I know uh, you've been out beating the bushes again, uh, trying to talk to a few more folks. And, folks, if you got any questions about this justice court race, I know Mr. J.R. would uh, love you to give him a call. If you see him out somewhere uh, campaigning, uh, ask those questions, and I'm sure he'd be able to address those. And uh, that way you know more about the race. But uh, it is glad to have you back. And uh, on that night, August 4th, uh, I told somebody, I said, I'm nervous and I am, I'm not even running for anything, but uh, it was a fun night. What a crowd we had at the courthouse. Folks really came out. That shows a lot of interest. Right. We did have a great crowd. It, it was packed house. Packed house. Couldn't hardly get in, couldn't hardly get out for all the people couldn't get a seat were standing around. Sounds good, but we're glad that, uh, and I wish more people would get out and vote even on this 25th, but you folks that did get out and vote, hats off to you. And I know hats off to those folks that voted for J.R. Blakeney, who wants to be your next justice court judge. You know, I, uh, I've did a little research and uh, of course uh, you helped me out a little bit, but uh, you were kin to just about everybody you was running against in that first go around, wasn't you? Yes, sir, I was. And this first time I've ever been in that position, it's kind of unique. Uh, out of the five candidates, four of us were cousins. Jamie Reynolds, uh, his father, Oval Reynolds, is my grandmother, Eva Blakeney's brother. They're brothers and sisters. So me and Jamie were cousins. Uh, Julia Jones, one of the other candidates, her great-grandmother was Annie Johnson from Burnsville. Well, my grandmother's Cordy Gray from Burnsville. They were sisters. <laughs> one of the, the other candidates still left in this race with me, Matt Cummins. Matt's great-grandmother was Rethie Wilkins. Rethie Wilkins was my grandfather, Ralph Gray's sister. So me and Matt are cousins. My father-in-law is James Ray Cummins, who is Ricky's brother. So my wife and Matt are first cousins. So it's been a family affair, but <laughs> everything's went real well. Everybody's really enjoyed the time we've spent with each other and got a lot to see a family members that hadn't seen in a while. Sounds good. Now, you folks, if you've got all that down, Pat, I'm not sure if I got it, uh, other than I know that you were kind of just about everybody in the kind, race. Kind, but, of, uh, kind of three of the four. Sounds good. If you're out there joining us, don't forget to go to the polls on August the 25th, re-elect uh, the reason I say re-elect, because this guy served you for 12 years. You 16. Four, 16 Four years. terms. You, learn, you bring some big-time experience to this job, and I know the mm -hmm. folks uh, would be comfortable with J.R. Blakeney back in that uh, seat there. I think so. Let me ask you a question. Um, we're down to two candidates now. Of course, yes, you sir. and uh, Matthew Cummings, uh, Clayton Matthew Cummings, and uh, uh, what the folks have got to do right now is look at both of you and make a decision on who they want to lead in that uh, Justice Court North. I think I may have asked you this before uh, looking at all the candidates, but we're down to two. What sets you apart from uh, Matt in this race? Well, the main thing is the years of experience, the knowledge of working with the people. This, for instance, uh, Matt was an attorney in Iuka 
The last few years, he's been working as a carpenter with some of his family members building houses. He's got a couple of public jobs, but if you lay all this stuff on the scales, when I was straight out of college with two associate degrees, I went to work for Harvey Pendergrass Insurance Agency. Sold insurance, real estate. A few years into that, I bought my own business. I owned a little small convenience store that had an amusement center in the back. Run it for over 20 years. Worked for the Division of Medicaid as a Medicaid specialist representing Alcorn, Tishomingo, Prentice County. I worked for the Tishomingo County Sheriff's Department. One of the first public jobs I ever had. I worked for the city of Golden as assistant chief, worked for Farmington as parole officer and uh, patrol officer. Uh, currently, I am a commercial sales manager for AutoZone, so I still deal with the public one-on-one -on -one every day. My best asset that I have is the fact that I did serve as the justice court judge right here for 16 years. During that time, I was also city judge at Iuka, Golden, and Belmont. Not counting just the jobs that I've paid for, I've done a lot of civic jobs. I've furnished a lot of free time of my time. I served in PTA, Band Booster Club. I was a Little League coach for several years. Uh, actually one of the original founding board of directors of the Burnful Area Chamber of Commerce. I was the original chairman of the board of the first board of the whole Spur Voluntary Fire Department. I've served on three different Relay for Life teams that raise money for cancer. So if you weigh our, our experiences, you know, he's got here, take the scales of justice, add all of my jobs, all of my years of free experience, you'll see the scales get one-sided. I just want people to take the time. Don't look at just what we've done the last year. Look at what we've done last year, five years ago, ten years ago, what we've done in our lifetime, what all we've help with to get us to the point that we're at now. I think if they'll do that, I think the choice is real clear and I think they'll put the right man in the right position. J.R. Blakeney and wants to be your next Justice Court Judge and of course you can make that happen on August the 25th and of course on August 25th night we will be there covering election returns. Mm -hmm. We'll be there live again. You'll be able to listen to all the returns and uh, we got it all worked out to do the streaming live video so you'll be able to uh, we'll give you the link so you can actually watch live election returns, a live shot right there in the side of the Tishomingo County Courthouse. And you say, well, Jack, I can't do any streaming video. Well, guess what? You can get on your smartphone and listen to the election returns all evening long live from the Tishomingo County Courthouse. You know, Jr. there's um, a lot of big races still left, not just your race. And I know that's the main concern with you, but we got the sheriff's race, we right. got constable races, we got supervisor races. There's a lot of incentive for the folks to get out there and vote. How important it is for you and the candidates to get folks back out. Right. It's very important. And to me, you know, even if I wasn't in this race, I would have to vote. I think if you vote, they don't do the right job, then you've got a right to complain. So I encourage everybody to get out and vote. Make us be accountable. Make us do what you expect us to do. Once you vote, follow that candidate. Make sure he does what you want him to do. Well, I got one more question before I'm going to let you ask for the photo out there. And you may have already answered this uh, in some of the stuff we've already talked about. But uh, if I'm a voter sitting out in that northern half of Tishomingo County and I got to make this big decision uh, coming up on the 25th, why should I vote for you? Because I bring to the table over 35 years of experience working with people one on one every day. I'm the only person in any of these races that's actually sat behind that bench. And I sit there 16 years in four positions, not just as your county justice court judge, but I also served as three different municipal judges. I can walk in day one, first day, start to work. I know a few of the laws have changed. Whoever gets elected will have to attend a seminar to be freshened up on the new current laws. But I can go in day one, go to work. I'll not have to be trained. And you bring a lot of educational background in this. You've took uh, tons of courses and a lot of hours, haven't you? I have. During the time that I was judged before, I gained over 400 hours. I have over, I think there's 38 certificates that I received during the time that I was judged before. Most of those were voluntary. It was not mandatory classes. So you ready to go to work? I'm ready to go to work. J.R. Blakeney, our special guest here today, and uh, J.R., I saved uh, two things for last. You know, if you happen to be watching, uh, maybe on TV 97, maybe you're watching on YouTube, and you say, well, I haven't had a chance to meet Mr. J.R. in person, 
And we normally do this in the front of the interview in the early going, but today I want you to do me a favor before I let you ask for the vote. Tell us a little bit about you and your family. Okay. Like I said, I'm a married family man. I'm a Christian, member of the Harmony Hill Baptist Church. Uh, my, my wife, Cheryl, we have two children, Chris, that's the manager of AutoZone Nyuka. My daughter, Leanne, is the uh, business professor at Blue Mountain College. We live at 918 South Pearl. Any of you have any questions, my phone number is 662-415-0260. Don't think a second about it. If you want to ask me a question, call me. Come by my house. I'm real easy to find. I'm the first house behind the football field, downtown Iuka. Be glad to answer any questions, discuss any matters you have in this race coming up. J.R. Blakeney wants to be your next Justice Court judge. 25th of August is the time frame. And J.R., I'm going to give you a chance to ask for the folks vote out there. I know you. Uh, I'm going to say something about uh, the other guys that was in your race and ladies or whatever. I'm not for sure that there was any race uh, countywide. We're just talking north end that uh, the folks actually got out and worked any harder than that justice court. So I'm talking about people actually getting out and going door to door. Right. That's probably one of the uh, better races we had in Tishomingo mm -hmm. County as far as the, just a lot of tough candidates in it, and everybody working real hard wanting to get this slot, right? Right, they did. Uh, I knocked on every door, never missed a door. I know a couple of my other candidates stated that they think they got almost all of them. Uh, so, you know, all five of us were out working. We all we wouldn't really run against each other. We all running for one central position, everybody worked hard. I wish all five of us could have got elected, but that's not possible. And of course, uh, you're gonna get a chance to elect this man right here, Mr. J.R. Blakeney, once again, August the 25th. And I'm gonna give you a chance to ask for the folks vote out there. J.R. Blakeney. I humbly ask for your vote and your support. I thank you once again for allowing me to be in this position. I ask all of you in all races, please return to the polls on August the 25th Look at all the qualifications. Look at all the years of experience. Look at the person that you will be able to sit down comfortably with. I ask you to vote J.R. Blakeney, Justice Court Judge, Northern District. I will do you the job that you deserve, and four years from now, you'll be proud to say that you did vote that way. I thank you. Sounds good. Awesome job. We appreciate you, you and uh, we appreciate uh, the Mrs. being with us tonight. And uh, I don't think that her or my wife, either one, wanted to get on TV. They wanted to stay behind the scenes, but we're still glad to have you here, Miss mm -hmm. Blakeney. And appreciate Denise on the controls doing a wonderful job. And uh, mm -hmm. we look forward to seeing you at the courthouse on the 25th. And I know you're looking for good things to happen in that race. So don't forget, August 25th, go out and elect J.R. Blakeney as your next Justice Court Judge on the north half. Once again, we'll be there live with all the election returns. You can go to WRMGRadio.com, listen, watch, and also you'll be able to listen to the returns on TV 97 as well. For everybody here in the studios, Jack Ivey saying thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time right here on the Political Forum. Y'all have a great day.